A lot of people with a creative business that sell pretty much anything online think that you only need a website in case you want to sell on that website. But the truth is that if you're selling print-on-demand, printables, or digital downloads on a marketplace, a website is actually a good idea. Now, I've been a firm advocate for blogging about your print-on-demand products and having a blog, but that also is true for just having some kind of static website where you can showcase your work. And in this video, I'm going to take you through the 12 reasons why you should have your own website when you're selling print and demand printables or digital downloads on a marketplace. And while some of these reasons might not apply to you, I definitely think that some of them will. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments what reason resonated with you the most. On top of that, we will also have a small pause in the video and take time to congratulate and announce the winner of our Hostinger website contest. With that said, let's get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And these are the 12 reasons why I think you should have your own website when you are selling on a marketplace. That means you're selling print on demand on a marketplace. It could be a marketplace that is the print on demand supplier, such as Redbubble, TeePublic, Society6, Zazzle, so on and so on. And it can also be Etsy. And it can also be printables or digital download items, whether you're selling them on Etsy or on Creative Fabrica, Teachers Pay Teachers, or Creative Market. So reason number one why you should have a website is to better brand yourself. It looks really different when you have your own website, when you have your own domain, whether the name of the website is based on your print on a man brand, your print on a man niche, your printables niche, or whether it's based on your own name, it definitely does look better because when you do have your own website and this kind of branding, you look a bit differently to the person who's really looking into your socials or looking into the fact that you have a website or looking into your profile on a marketplace. And it kind of transforms from here's Creative Fabrica and this designer is selling clip art, or here's Redbubble and this designer is selling t-shirts, to this is a designer that has their products available on Redbubble, on Creative Fabrica, and so on and so on. When you do have your own website and your own domain, you can also have your own email address, and it does definitely look more professional if I ask people to email me to my own domain, to something like info at mayaroyo.com, or to mayaroyo at gmail.com, which by the way, none of these are email addresses associated with me, so don't bother using them. You will not find me on those. Another side note for that email, having that extra email gives you the best way to start a new Instagram account, a new Pinterest account, a new whatever account on social media to promote your brand, your products, and your online business. Reason number two why I think you should definitely have your own website is to basically create a links page with your own website. That links page can appear on your TikTok bio, on your Instagram bio, on YouTube, wherever you want to put it, and it would take people into whatever you want to show them. And yes, you can use free services such as Linktree to create your own links page, but you're pretty much limited to like lines. And if I have to look, for example, at mine, and mine is on maytribe.com, which is hosted on Payhip, my links page show a lot of things. There are multiple links to my YouTube channel, to my Patreon. There are literally links to purchase from me, from the links page, the bundles that I'm selling on maintribe.com, as well as recommendations for videos. And the biggest thing I think is that when you put out a links page from your own website, people can, you know, click on the logo up top and just go into your website. Simple as that. It's just the best way I think to do it. Now I've made a tutorial on how to create a links page using Payhip and I do think there was another tutorial on how to create a links page with WordPress and I will definitely make another video on how to create your own links page using hosting or website builder because I know that a lot of you are using it. Reason number three why you should have your own website when you're selling anything on a marketplace is to feature items that you're promoting on Instagram, that are trending on Instagram, that you're pinning on Instagram in a way that is easy for the person to buy them. And we've seen this when we discussed Society6 latest blunder on social media with their Instagram post with people literally commenting, where can I buy this? When in fact, if their link in bio included a photo 
of that print, because it is trending on Instagram with a direct link, no one would have to ask and I'm pretty sure people would buy it a lot more. So that is again something that you can do. If you notice that one of your Instagram posts or reels or one of your TikToks is suddenly trending, you can add that product with that link to your LinkedIn bio page. Reason number four why you should have your own website is to sort of have this middleman between the buyer and your store on the marketplace. Because let's say someone saw something they really like on Pinterest or on Instagram that you designed and they click on it and they head on over to Redbubble, to Creative Fabrica, to Etsy, to Teachers Pay Teachers, to Society6, to Tee Public, to you get the point. They are instantly flooded with all of your competitors right there on the page and they don't actually have that sense of connection to you just yet. But when you take them from the social platform to your own website, they do the browsing process of thinking about what they want on your website. And only then, when they decide they really like it, they move on to Redbubble, to Etsy, to Teachers Pay Teachers, to Creative Fabrica, to wherever it is that you're selling your print on demand or your printables or digital downloads. And yes, they will still see your competitors if you're not using your own shop, they will still see them right away but maybe they have already done the process of browsing in their head. They already reached a conclusion what they wanted to buy, or maybe they already developed a connection to you and they already know to search for more of your designs on that platform, rather your competitors. Reason number five why you should have your own website, even and especially if you're on a marketplace, is to feature different photos than the photos of the marketplace. And I'm excluding Zazzle from that because on Zazzle you can upload your own photos and videos to the products and also on Etsy. You can feature your own photos. However, if we are talking about Redbubble or Society6 or TeePublic, you can't. You are relying on the photos that they have on the platform. And while their photos can be good, I think Redbubble's mockups are much better than Society6 or TeePublic, which are somewhat non existent on TeePublic, there are some products that the mockup can actually be an issue. I mean, this design for pink hair don't care on Redbubble is on a woman that doesn't have pink hair. Wouldn't it be better if she appeared on my website with actual pink hair? People chose it based on the fact that she has pink hair. They identify with her because they do have pink hair, don't care. And then they would go to Redbubble to buy that t-shirt. Or when it comes to ages of people, I mean, this design of it took me 50 years to look this good, if I take it from Redbubble, <laughs> this woman does not look 50. Or if I take it from TeePublic, there is no person at all. Wouldn't it be better if someone came into my own website, saw this man wearing this hoodie, said, mm, yeah, 50 looks good, clicked on it, and then got to the actual hoodie on the marketplace. It's kind of, again, that middleman, but it's also a way to feature the design much better better. Now, as much as I love hoodies and t-shirts, I don't know why I said that. These were usually like my not favorite products when I started Print and Demand, but I think I've grown up to them. Okay, so as much as I love them, I also love selling wall art and I do terribly hate the non-existing mock-ups of wall art on Society6. I mean, this is an art print from Society6. It's very boring. Literally, when I click on changing the sizes, it's the same thing. Wouldn't it be much easier for me to get people to imagine this art print in their space if I was using this mock-up instead. And that's something that I can do from my website, directing them on to Society6, where they can just buy the print if they want to. They already know how it looks on a wall. Now, you might think to yourself, well, I can just use these mock-ups on social media. I don't have to use them on my website. And you are correct. You can upload them onto Instagram, you can upload them onto Pinterest, and people will go directly to the marketplace. But that connection, that instant connection of just seeing something and clicking on it and going to the marketplace, they might not have imagined it yet. They might not have gotten that connection to the product yet. It is good to have that middle man with that beautiful photo before they go into the marketplace. And actually, this is a really good opportunity for you guys to refer the client to different marketplaces. Because let's say I have this llama print on Redbubble and on TeePublic and on Society6, when I put it on my own website, when people saw it on Instagram or on Pinterest and went into my own website, I can write down below on the product, it is available on Redbubble, on TeePublic or on Society6. And the buyer can decide 
based on them knowing Redbubble and not knowing the other ones, based on the shipping costs, based on the shipping times, or based simply on the price because different marketplaces have different sales at different times. The buyer can decide which platform to buy this on and it's all focused on that one page that shows that print in a beautiful way with multiple website options to buy it from. With that, and I can't believe I didn't put it as a reason on its own, uh, I feel like I've done this script of this video and then this idea just popped up to my head. But with that, I can also talk about selling digital downloads because for example, if you're selling, let's say, paper packs or seamless patterns for commercial use, maybe you're selling them both on Etsy and on Creative Fabrica. And when you do have your own website, when people came in, saw this on Instagram, they want to get it, they go into your own website, they see that seamless pattern, they see that paper pack, and they go, okay, I want to buy it. You can have, you can purchase this on my Etsy store, a marketplace, as a one-off, or you can go to Creative Fabrica and download it as a part of a membership. So that is also something good to throw in there. Reason number six why you should have your own website, especially if you're selling on a marketplace, is because you can feature what someone can do with your product or provide a better description that appears on the marketplace. If I'm looking at Redbubble, for example, when I'm uploading a design, the description is about the design, not about the product. The product description is innate from Redbubble. Same with TeePublic. And if I'm looking at Etsy, well, a lot of people don't actually read the description. Yeah. And also, when it's your own website, adding that description, you can also add a video. And yes, Etsy has videos, but they have very short videos without any sound. When in fact, when you want to push for people to actually buy that product, they saw it on social media, they entered your website. Now is the time to convince them why they should buy it from you. So I made a list of different things you could be selling explaining that process of the description. Let's say you're selling Canva templates for people, for businesses or for personal people. So on your own website, you can add a video of you explaining how to enter Canva, how to customize this template, which you cannot do on Etsy or on Creative Fabrica or on Teachers Pay Teachers or wherever it is. Now, if you're selling print-on-demand products, for example, if you're selling print-on-demand coloring canvas and you uploaded it to Society6 or to Redbubble or to TeePublic canvas or art print because TeePublic doesn't have canvases, if you're selling those, there is a place on your own website to write down the paints and the colors that will be recommended for people to paint that with. Giving them that information, them reading that information, already goes into their heads as if they already bought it. Psychological thing. Maybe it's a psychological bullcrap, but I find it to be true in most cases. Now let's talk about t-shirts. Let's say me, I'm selling print and demand t-shirts, and on my own website, I can actually get one of my own t-shirts in an oversized fit, and then show different ways that I can like tie it up or like wear it to get people the idea of thinking, hmm, do I wanna buy this t-shirt in my size or do I wanna buy it on oversize? When in fact, they already forgot that they are not sure if they wanna buy the t-shirt. They went from whether I wanna buy this t-shirt or not to hmm, do I want it oversized or do I want it in a regular fit? Which is what we want our clients, our potential clients, to think about whether, you know, if I want to buy it or not. One last thing, for example, with notebooks, I can have a notebook featured and also give the person who's looking at it value with some journaling prompts. Maybe they'll buy the notebook, maybe they won't, but if they are really into journaling, they might remember my brand, they might remember my name, they might want to follow me just because I gave them something for free that they can use journaling prompts. By the way, if you like this video or found this content useful so far, feel free to hit the like button down below because every time you do that, it tells YouTube, hey, this is a cool video. You need to show it to more people and it really does help my channel. Reason number seven why you might want to have your own website when you're selling on a marketplace is to be able to feature double products. For example, a mommy and daughter t-shirt where you can write the mommy t-shirt link is here, the daughter t-shirt link is here, or in the case of this beautiful place at Mockup, this couple wearing the same hoodie in two different colors. And in fact, you can show how it looks on a man, on a woman, and give the link to the hoodie showing two colors instead of one. By the way, this can also work with some kind of collection product combinations when it comes to having a shower curtain that matches a bath mat. And when I say matches, it doesn't have to be the exact same design because your bathroom curtain can be this like ocean 
waves and the bath mat could be a totally different design. And then you'll feature that image of that room, basically giving people both of the links to both of the different products, whether it's on one platform or on multiple. Reason number eight why you should have your own website is to share your items with an affiliate link, which is something that I really like to do with my Zazzle or my Society6 stores, and I think is now available on Etsy and definitely available with Creative Fabrica. And the reason why you wanna share your items with an affiliate link is because again, you're on a marketplace. People can look at your products and then scroll down or to the side or up and buy from someone else. And if you bring in people all the way to the marketplace, you did your marketing and they went in and they bought from someone else, that's kind of a bummer. But if you have an affiliate link, you'll be making commission from them buying from someone else, even if they didn't buy from you, which is kind of something I like, by the way. <laughs> and when it comes to Creative Fabrica, that's even cooler because you can affiliate the actual membership, which is also something adorable. I do know a lot of Creative Fabrica sellers who make more money from their affiliate links rather than from selling their own actual products. Moving on to reason number nine, which is connected to reason number 10, which is you can affiliate anyone. I mean, if I wanna sell one of my own print on a man products, let's say I wanna sell one of my hoodies and that hoodie actually looks really good in combination with really cool print on a man shoes that an Etsy seller is selling. I can have like a page that combines like the looks of that outfit and then tell people the hoodie is from here and the shoes are from here. When in fact, the hoodie is mine and the shoes are an affiliate link for an Etsy seller that I will make money if the person who clicks on the link buys anything from Etsy, anything. I have a very old video on the Etsy affiliate program. I will leave a link to that one down below because I know a lot of people have been asking me questions about it. Reason number 10 why I think you should have your own website, even if you're selling on a marketplace or especially when you're selling on a marketplace is to be able to offer your own services as a designer. I mean, why not? And when I say to be able to offer your own services as a designer, I mean two things. One, maybe someone would contact you saying, hey, can you design this t-shirt for me on Redbubble? Because they want a specific t-shirt that they couldn't find. They like your style. They like the fact that you have this design of a dog knitting and they wanted to ask if you can make a cat knitting one. And that's something you can do with your own website if you do like commission work. And in that case, the person will contact you because you have your own email and it's very easy and he knows that you're offering this service and you'll be able to upload the product and comment back or email back with the link. This is something that literally happened to me. And the second reason why you wanna have that kind of option to feature yourself as a designer is maybe because you can do commission work for someone else's business because someone can definitely contact you and say, oh my God, I loved your floral pattern. I have my own shop. Can I purchase some of them unique ones for myself? Now we are at the last two reasons why you wanna have your own website and we're almost there with announcing the winner of the Hostinger contest, which I'm super excited about. So reason number 11, why you wanna have your own website is to change where you refer people easier in case you switch marketplaces. In case you got really sick of TeePublic lowering their commission, Redbubble tears, you got suspended from Etsy, it's really much easier to change your links when they refer to your own website. Because let's say on my website, I have one image or one page that includes multiple products on it and it's a description, it's kind of like that mother and daughter thing or a notebook that looks really good with a phone case. And it's running on Pinterest. If it was referring the traffic to my Etsy store and I got suspended from Etsy, all of those pins would go in vain. But if I have like 50 pins referring to that one page on my website and that website refers to Etsy, if I got suspended from Etsy, all I have to do is put that design on Redbubble and then I change their link one time on my website to go to Redbubble. That's it. Now, before we get to the last one, which is actually my favorite reason and the number one thing that I'm trying to get into people's heads, and I, that's why I saved it for last, I would like to announce our Hostinger contest winner. So on the 13th of the month, which was actually Make Your Dream Come True Day, we launched a community contest partnering up with Hostinger to give one of you guys free hosting and domain services for a full year. Hostinger is my personal favorite website hosting service. I have all of my websites and domains hosted on Hostinger and purchased from Hostinger. May Tribe domain, which is hosted on Payhip, it's a Payhip store, was purchased from Hostinger. Also my domains for my fourth world shops, 
were purchased from Hostinger and I have my email addresses on Hostinger webmail. So I have been using them for a long time and yes, I am an affiliate of Hostinger, but on top of that, I'm an affiliate of other hosting services, which you didn't hear me mention here because I either had bad experience with them or didn't have any experience at all. So that is my personal favorite hosting platform. And we've been partnering, I think for, I think over a year now, a little over a year now from Black Friday of 2022. So in a conversation with my Hostinger contact, Gabrielle, we decided that in order to celebrate their new year promotion and make your dream come true day which was also stickers day because america has like a million national days every single day on the calendar gabrielle and i decided to make a contest where someone has to design a really good motivational sticker the submission started on the 13th of january ended on the 22nd and you guys have submitted really cool stickers i mean so many cool stickers were submitted and it, it's been a hard choice for gabrielle i'm not gonna say for me because i wasn't choosing thank God, but Gabrielle has chosen a winner, and the winner is I need drums. Yeah, it's changing lights. Okay, dumb stuff. And the winner is I hope I'm saying your name correctly Lena Svin. Lena Svin designed this sloth sticker Major risk in life is not taking any risks, which I completely agree with. So, congratulations, Lena. You are going to start your 2024 with a free hosting and domain for one year from Hostinger. Please expect a DM from me on Facebook where I'll explain to you how we are proceeding from this point. I would like to thank anyone who participated in this contest and of course to Hostinger for sponsoring the prize and to Gabrielle for choosing our winner and brainstorming this contest with me. It's been super fun. For those of you who didn't win the contest but you still want to enjoy the new year prices that will be on for a few more days up to 79% discount on hosting packages on Hostinger, you can do that with the link to Hostinger down below. Get your hosting and domain package with Hostinger with up to 79% discount for the next few days. And if you use the link down below in the description and the coupon code MAY, you actually get an added 10% discount at checkout. This is another small gesture from Hostinger to our lovely community members. Now, if you're bummed out that you didn't hear about the contest, that you didn't participate in time, that you didn't win, just so you know, there are plenty other contests that I'm thinking about doing, whether it's partnering up with other collaborators that we have. Vincent from Fourth Wall and I have been discussing a contest as well. And I'm working with contests, whether I'm sponsoring the prize or, again, a partner is. If you want to make sure you're not going to miss out on those, make sure to be subscribed to the channel or subscribe to the newsletter or join the Facebook community because those are the places where you will be alerted about these contests so you won't miss them out next. Now, back to our topic with the 12th. Last reason why I think you should have your own website, especially if you're selling print-on-demand, printables, digital downloads on a marketplace. And the most important reason of all is so that you can learn new skills. I'm sorry if that was anticlimactic. To me, it is truly the bigger one. To learn the skill of designing websites. That skill landed me so much money as a freelancer when I started. And I feel like a lot of people don't know that when I started as a freelancer in 2015, I had my own blogs that I was affiliating. I haven't started Print on a Man yet. I started that in 2017. But I created a website for myself as a designer, offering services for graphic design, for Facebook ads design, for content creation as a content writer, SEO content, translations. And people looked at my website and said, hey, do you make websites for other people? Because I want a website that kind of looks like yours. I really like that clean style. And then I realized that the skill of building websites that I mastered or that I started mastering, because I don't believe you can ever master it. Things are changing all the time and I'm discovering new things always. But that skill that I started with, website building in 2012, 2013, that I used to build my own website was now getting me clients to build their website. And I also had clients in which I tutored them on how to build websites as well. And honestly, I would have never gotten that skill if I hadn't sat at home one day and decided that I wanted to open a fashion and makeup blog to become a fashion and makeup affiliate. So that was a very big part for me. And coming from the financial point of view, maybe that's why I think it's the most important because I'm not just talking about getting clients, but 
right now, if I want to start a project, I'm doing it in a day. If I want to set up a website, I'm doing it in a day. Because for those of you who don't know, practice doesn't make perfect, but it does make faster. So if you work on making your own website, let's say you're selling print on demand, and I feel like this is a bit of a philosophical thing or maybe a professional advice, a lot of people shouldn't be. A lot of people shouldn't be selling print on demand or digital downloads. Maybe they're not good at designing those. Did you ever think about that? Not everybody's a good designer. The same way that not everybody has a passion for rock climbing. Not everyone understands color theory. Some people just don't know how to make something look good. And that's okay. And I do know several people who started print on demand on a marketplace or started selling on KDP or started selling printables. And they didn't actually sell that much. So they did the whole process. They niche down, they built their own website, and they still were not selling because their design wasn't good. But then they realized they make really good websites, either offered that as a service and became freelancers and made a lot of money, or transformed their website into a, a blog that recommends other people who make really good designs rather than themselves, or just you know affiliating Amazon, or affiliating AliExpress, or affiliating Etsy. The second skill that I feel like you will learn when you have a website is marketing. A lot of people who are just starting out with printables, with print on demand, with digital downloads, choose to place their items on a marketplace because they're like, how am I gonna get my own traffic? I mean, I'm figuring it out now, how to make designs, how to make them look good. I want to get traffic from a marketplace. And whether or not I think you're gonna actually get traffic from a marketplace, because TeePublic is not gonna feature you on the homepage unless you make a few sales or have your own traffic. And if someone searches something on Etsy and there are 3,000 products that match that search, they're gonna show these products that are selling before they're gonna show yours on a new store. But yeah, I understand that emotional need to be on a marketplace, especially at the beginning. Because again, I once was a beginner. <laughs> like everyone who's now a few years in a business, they were once a beginner. And I understand that. So be on a marketplace, but also have your own website and learn the art of marketing that way. Because when you do have your own website, you need to do your own marketing by yourself. When you're on a marketplace, doing your own marketing will definitely bring you higher up on that marketplace. And if you take any reason from this video as the most important one, it would be this. Because I don't think that you should build a whole website just to sell another Redbubble t-shirt. I don't think you should build a whole website just to be an affiliate for Creative Fabrica for your own stuff. Yes, when you do it correctly, it will make you money. But on top of money, it will get you knowledge that you can't buy anywhere else because you've done it yourself. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, I would appreciate it so much if you could comment down below what reason out of the 12 reasons resonated with you the most. And as for a website and hosting services and platforms, you can have your own website with different technologies. You can host them on different platforms. And I feel like one of the questions that I always get from people who are starting out who don't understand website building is why do I keep recommending Hostinger if I'm using WordPress? Hostinger is a service that allows you to host your website. It gives it a home. It gives it a slot in the universe online, as well as a domain name, the address. And while you can use their own website builder, which I will make more tutorials for, you can also operate a WordPress website on Hostinger because WordPress is not only a hosting service, it's also a separate technology. If that sounds a little bit too confusing for you, I will leave a link down below to a blog post that I add on my newsletter. I'm working with Substack, which is a newsletter blog post service. So I will leave a link down below to my blog post intro to WordPress, which explains the whole concept of what is a CMS and how to work with it and closed environment and open source and all that to help you better understand that. But yes, there are multiple platforms to have your own website. I personally have my own shop and website for this channel for bundle boxes on Payhip. I'm hosting it on Payhip. I got the domain from Hostinger because you can't buy a domain from Payhip, but I'm hosting it on Payhip and using their technology. But for my blogs, I'm using WordPress. Whether I'm referring to my own Society6 store, to my T Public store, or referring to my fourth wall store, which is a whole separate thing. And for those of you who are interested how to have a WordPress blog, for example, I had a video on that over on Patreon and I will leave a link to that one down below. It's for patrons only, which is either $3 a month or $7 a month with a $7 tier, getting a massive graphic bundle to use every single month, which is pretty cool. 
I also had a fourth wall full shop tutorial there for anyone who's interested and by the end of this month there will also be another video uploaded to Patreon with how to actually write the blog post, the technical part, on WordPress. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. I hope that you understand the value of having your own website, even and especially if you're selling anything on a marketplace. And if you don't see the value in that or you don't want to do it right now, I hope that at least the last half an hour of your life was a little bit entertaining. Thank you, Hostinger, for sponsoring our contest. Congratulations, Lena, for winning it. Have an amazing weekend, all of you. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!